The battery in your transit isn't located in the engine compartment like other vehicles. It's located inside the vehicle and under the driver's seat. And there are a few things you'll need to know about it. First, let's talk about how to jump your battery if it dies. Open the engine hood by pulling on the hood release located under the storage bin next to the driver's side door, here. The battery jump box is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment. Lift up the red access panel to expose the positive battery post and attach the positive end of your jumper cable to it. Now, connect the negative end to the ground located on the inside of the driver's side fender, here. Okay, now let's talk about how to replace the 12 volt battery. It's located inside the cabin under the driver's seat. First, you'll need to move the driver's seat all the way back. Next, open the two plastic screw covers on each side of the front of the seat. By inserting your finger into the tabs and pulling them open, they'll swing inward. Now, remove the two rail stop bolts using a T40 type Torx bit, here. With the armrest folded up, slide the seat all the way forward. To access the battery compartment on transit wagon models, first remove the protective plastic molding by pulling up on the tabs and sliding it towards you. Next, lift the fabric cover trim by pulling up on the tabs and tuck or fold it to keep it out of your way. You'll need to remove the rear metal battery cover by unscrewing two fastening bolts here and here. Next, unfasten the two electrical cords by unclipping them from their fasteners like this and remove the bar. To remove the battery cover, first remove the small panel that covers the negative battery cable. Once the panel is off, you'll need to loosen the nuts on the negative pole clamps and remove the cable from the battery. Next, unsnap the tab in the front, here. Then slide the lid forward until the two additional front side tabs come unattached. Now, lift and pull the cover to remove it. Then loosen the nuts on the positive pole clamps and remove the clamps from the battery. Be sure to use the lift handles provided when removing the batteries, since they are very heavy. You may have a single battery. To replace it, with the cover panel off, loosen and remove the negative pole clamp. Then rotate the battery and remove the positive pole clamp. To install the new battery, just follow the same directions but in the reverse order. Any questions? Go to FordOwner.com.